Hi hey guys. I uh, thought I would come to you. Today's Monday. Happy Monday. Hope you guys are all doing good. Um, see ya, come out here. Yay. It's short. Um, much easier to uh, handle than it was. It's really hot over here in uh, Central California. It is... I'm not sure. Maybe in the it feels like it's high 80s right now, but it's going to get hot. It might even be hotter than that. Um, we definitely get weather up into the uh, low hundreds quite often here. And uh, I do a lot better in the summer than I do in the winter, so I can't complain. Um, anyway, what else is new? I went to the doctor last week. I got my back brace that she wants me to wear. And I also have a, a cervical collar um, that I'm supposed to wear. It's very uncomfortable. So I don't wear it all the time. But I have a lot of problems with the uh, disc disease in my neck and my spine. So right now she has me using a lower back brace. But I may have to go to one that is more constricting that goes up my back but we're gonna try this one out first and uh, so far when I'm out and about having to go to the store or be on my feet for any length of time I am able to wear that and it seems to be uh, helping a little bit but I've only had it for a few days so we'll see and let's see what else um, Oh, she did have me, she did blood work to test me more in depth for RA, and those tests came back negative, which is good. And I think right now we're done with all the blood tests that we're going to do. My vitamin D level is still low, so I'm still having to uh, take medication for that. I'm trying to get out into the sun more, um, but it really it's just bright <laughs> and I guess my eyes are sensitive I tend to have um, my sunglasses on anytime I'm in the Sun anyway I'm in my backyard now and let's see what else hmm we uh, I had to do a ton of school supply shopping yesterday the list that they gave out this year for school supplies is crazy I have never in my life seen a list this long for school supplies. Um, not even when Anissa was in seventh grade did I see a list like this, or high school. So I was really shocked. Um, and this is for Lonnie, who's obviously going into seventh, or is in seventh grade now. And, I mean, they had... <laughs> They had, you You needed like four reams of paper, like ten wire-bound notebooks, um, you know, four multicolored uh, highlighters. Then you had to get a pack of crayons, a pack of markers, a um, pack of colored pencils. She needed like numerous index card packs, a USB flash drive, book covers, three-inch binder. I mean, and the list goes on and on and on. Kleenex, computer paper. Um, it was just unreal. It was a whole eight and a half by 11 sheet filled with mandatory items. <laughs> so I'm a big couponer when I'm physically able to do it. I hate spending full price on things. And I did a lot of couponing yesterday in order to do most of that shopping. And I swear we went to three different stores we were gone for at least three hours. I felt like I was going to die when I got home. And we still are not done. I think we spent a good $60 so far. And and I went cheap, the cheapest I could. And we still have to get her three-inch binder and the book covers because every single store we went to in town was sold out of book covers. So, yeah. So I still need to make a trip to the Dollar, the Dollar Tree. Um, the Dollar Tree is a really good place to do couponing if you guys are interested in that kind of thing. 
they have a lot of products there that obviously are a dollar and a lot of times in the Sunday papers you will get coupons for an item and there's no size restriction on it so you if the Dollar Tree carries it you can use it there and it, it's a dollar off coupon obviously you get it for free and there's numerous um, items that I have coupons for right now that the Dollar Tree carries so I am going to be planning a coupon haul and go there. It's just so much work. I cut out a bunch of coupons day before yesterday and it takes me so long to go through and be able to cut them. I have to do little by little. But financially it's really worth it. So I'm going to do that this week and I need to organize my my uh, refrigerator and my pantry. Things are kind of really chaotic in there. So if I'm going to try to film a before and after <laughs> and kind of show you guys what I did. I'm with two teenagers and a husband in the house. Um, they're not the cleanest. They tend to throw things back. The pantry's really big so there's lots of space for them to just toss it and that's unfortunately what they do. <laughs> so trying to get some new systems in place. It's been a long time since I've even had the drive to want to do that, to be honest. Um, I would feel so crappy that, and then the times I would do it, they would turn around and ruin it, <laughs> or like right after, so I would get really frustrated. And I gave up. For the last couple of years, I gave up. I literally just said, okay, I can't, ha I can't handle this anymore, you know, and they lived in what they lived in, and I would just, it, it just, it, if I can explain to you guys how anal I am, <laughs> um, it's really driven me nuts. I, uh, I used to be the type of person who couldn't sit down and relax until my house was clean. I would get off work and be in my my suit from work cleaning and there were times that it was pretty normal for me not to get in my pajamas until 10 at night because I would be up cooking cleaning um, until about 10 at night I never knew how to relax and now that my body has uh oh my thing's saying it's low my battery's low <laughs> anyway now that my body um, limits, you know, how much activity I can do, it's uh, it's really been uh, trying to t try and, uh, you know, make a plan and, and do little by little, not get frustrated with myself that I can't do it all in one swoop. So I'm working on that, and I've been on a weight loss journey. Um, for the last three months. Um, my goal is 30 pounds and I probably could stand to lose a little more than that but that's my goal um, Hope in hopes that if I lose that weight that it'll be easier for me to walk. My knees won't have as much strain on them and let's see as of right now I have lost 15. I've lost 15 pounds total in the past three months. So I'm halfway to my first goal and trying to eat healthier. And I did order Nature Box two months ago and I've really enjoyed their snacks. It takes a long time to go to the store and do label reading and try and find snacks that are affordable that are also not crap. Um, so it's been really helpful to have them and using a lot more produce, fresh produce today. So we're kind of trying to get healthier here and I'm hoping that as we do these changes my kids will follow suit and really want to change their diet. So that's pretty much what I've been doing. That and playing taxi cab. I'm, my next video, you guys will hear a little bit more about what, uh, what's been going on with that. It was a video that I recorded last week, so 
I'm going to post it um, probably later on tonight or something. But just know that that was last Tuesday that I filmed it. So anyway, I hope you guys are all doing good. Hope you're having a pain-free day. Know that I'm thinking of you and you're not alone. Bye.